grizzly bear. Looks like a big one. I hope you see him before he sees you. <laughs> you sure you won't change your mind, Daniel, about coming along? Promises uh, to be an interesting hunt. Oh, no, Mingo. It's been three days since I sat down with my family at the dinner table. If I don't get back pretty soon, they'll be feeding me out the back door like I was a stranger. <laughs> <laughs> Chief White Cloud, I presume since you're chief of the Cherokees, you're going to get the first shot. And I want you to do me a favor. Drop that bear before Mingo does, because if you don't, I'll never hear the last of it. I intend to, Daniel. <laughs> Looks like he's big enough to feed your whole tribe for the winter. Mm, plenty meat. Good luck. Judging from the way he's moving toward higher ground, he's crafty. I believe he's laying a false trail and intends to double back. Mingo, I suggest we separate.
Have you on a jiffy? Stay put, you. Stay put. Back, back. All right, take it easy, friend. I'll be with you in a minute. Obliged. Hawkins. Sam Hawkins. Sam Hawkins. Daniel Boone. Boone? I heard tell of you. Well, maybe I shouldn't ask how you got in there. Maybe it's best you shouldn't. <laughs> Near dark. Hate to see a man journeying wet to the bone, his belly empty. I'll make you a proposition, Boone. I got a grizzly half skinned up there. You start a fire and I'll cook us up some meat. Got yourself a deal. <laughs> broken the treaty, murdered our chief. Spit in the face of the Cherokee. There will be no war paint. The treaty will be honored. It was the wish of White Cloud. Honor? Where is the white man's honor? He who killed our chief must face Cherokee justice. One man. Yes, I agree. The murderer will be brought to Cherokee justice. He will lose himself in the white man's world. Hide behind the walls of Boonesboro. But you, who walk among the whites as one of them, live and think as they do, you are not true Cherokee. <laughs> I will find the murderer of our chief, and I will kill him. I will find him. My cabin's just through the trees over there. How about having supper with us? My wife and son would want to meet the man who saved my life. Well, uh, thank you, Daniel. <laughs> but I just ain't used to being around civilized folks, especially women. I've been out in the wilds too long. I figure my manners still are. Yeah, Daniel, it's yours. Well, I'm the one that ought to be giving you something. Well, Daniel, uh... I won't fight you if you stand me to a drink in the tavern. Well, I'll meet you there later.
wagon when you got no skins after a drink. All right, sure. What'll it be? Friend, something with the kick of a mule, the beller of a volcano, and the smell of buffalo hide. I think I got just the thing for you. Oh, well, set her down, set her down. <clears throat> there you go. <laughs> there ain't many men can handle more than one of them at a time. Well, you're looking at one. <laughs> Name of Sam Hawkins. Yeah, Cincinnati's here. Join me. <clears throat> Much obliged. Well, how's trapping these days, Jim? Don't get any on you. Court. <laughs> as long as these boys staying around here with their mouths wide open, might as well pour some down. Come on, come on. Cincinnatus, that's you and me have another. You uh, really want another one, huh? Sure do. Some feathered vulture messes with my trappings. He's asking to get skinned. Elk? Rare in this part of the country. The only elk existing in this territory are in Cherokee land. Well, now, what makes you think so, Injun? Only a few migrated to the north of here last year due to a shortage of food. White hunters killed most of them. Those that survived the slaughter were on sanctuary on Cherokee hunting grounds. The Indian kills only what he needs. Well, now, it's none of your nose, Injun, but that's just where I come from. North. There's elk so thick up there, they warm themselves at your campfire. I took this skin four days ago, north of here. This skin was taken yesterday. Now, you're trying my patience, Injun. Here's something I found on Cherokee hunting ground. I found traps hanging on that mule outside that bear these marks. Is this yours? Well, is it? I don't see it's any of your business, Redskin. But what of it? Uh, now, Mr. Hawkin, Mingo here's a friend in the tavern. He don't want to make no trouble. He'd like to prevent it, I'm certain. I reckon that uh, Mr. Hawkin didn't know nothing about the treaty, Mingo. I don't imagine it would make a great deal of difference to him if he did. Chief Quite Cloud is dead. Murdered. I found him with his leg crushed in this. I set my traps. What kind of varmint walks in them, I got no say. I don't take to drinking round with no liar. So as one of us is going to have to say his goodbyes. Cincinnatus, pour me a drink. Never mind, Cincinnati. You can have mine. <laughs> Riled. Fire eyed and touchy as a tea snake. Look at that. Can't wait to collect yourself another white scalp. What's the matter, Injun? Only scalps and your wiki up, women's and kids? Now you're trying to get yourself a man's. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
that knife down. Let him go. Ah, uh, now, Daniel, this is a personal matter. Drop it. Daniel, I figured you for my friend. Well, I am. So is the man you're about to use that knife on. Like I said, he's a friend. I judge a man by his friends. Well, that's as good a way as any. Just remember, I count you among them. Now, I would appreciate some explaining. Chief White Cloud has been murdered by this friend of yours. He's a liar. I discovered him myself, with his leg caught in this and a rifle ball in his chest. Why would Sam want to kill White Cloud? Ask him. But one thing I'm sure of, he knew he was on Cherokee land illegally. A trap, Sam? Is that yours? Well, that's, that's one of them, Daniel. I set plenty of traps. I got no say about what or who walks in them. Being on Cherokee land will make Sam a killer. You might think a little differently if he had a knife at your throat. First you call me a coward, then a liar, now a killer. You sure lean real heavy on being a friend of Daniel Boone's in him. Daniel, if I was to kill me an engine, it'd be face to face. I don't need no bear trap hanging from one of his legs. Mingo, let you and me take a little walk. Mighty strong charges. But there's not enough to back him up. Only the knowledge in here that he's the man. White Cloud's hunting bow is broken, deliberately. Now you know what it means to an Indian to enter the next world without his weapon. An act of hatred so deep it goes even beyond the grave. Being chief can bring enemies. This is no personal enemy. This is an enemy of all Indians. Something to which I may be more sensitive than you or any other white man. I read that hatred in his eyes. Perhaps one must have Indian blood in his veins to recognize it. That's hardly evidence that stand up in a court of law. There's never enough evidence in a white man's court to convict a white man of killing an Indian. With the evidence we have, he'll get a fair trial under Cherokee law based only on the evidence. No, there's too much emotion here, Mingo. He could only get a fair trial someplace else. Daniel, there's a part of me that's been too long neglected. And that's the part that I must think with now. Think or feel. Hawkins could never stand a chance under Cherokee law. What chance did White Cloud stand? Daniel, this is a crime against the Cherokee. You have no right to offer him your protection. Maybe not. But I won't refuse it. He saved my life. I just can't think a man like Hawkin could commit murder in cold blood. Think or feel? Explain to the new chief how I stand. You already have. While White Cloud's son is away, I am the chief. Taking quite a big load on your shoulders. I don't know what I'd do if I were in your place. I do. Hey! 
and I grabbed me a handful of them flailing redskins and I shook him while I sought him out until I found me a chief. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I tell you, that was just a funny thing. <laughs> well, well, Daniel, it's good to see you without your redskin brother. Look, Daniel, you come over here, because I got a drink for you, and I got enough talk to stuff both ears. Come on over here, Daniel, come on. <laughs> Sam. I don't like asking these questions twice, but for my friend Mingo, I'm going to. Well, then, Daniel, you ask away, and I'll answer straight. Oh, Daniel. Now, look, I admit I killed my share of redskins. I admit it. But I don't have to shoot a bird in a snare. All right, Sam. I believe you. But I wouldn't bet on those Cherokees. And you best stay off their land. Their land? Their land? Well, pretty soon they're going to be doing their hunting right here. They just might, for you. And my advice would be for you to stay put here in Boonesboro for a while. If you leave the stockade, you just might end up facing Mingo on his terms. Well, now, look here, Dano. I ain't a man to live neath a roof or back of fences. And I ain't never curled my tail under for no man, and I ain't starting now. Besides, Daniel, they don't worry me none. Well, they worry me. Well, Daniel, for you, I'd dig a hole and I'd pull it in after me. I would. Now, come on, drink up. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs> now, you're going to put this right over here. Oh, don't wait. And you are going to get up them stairs right now. Right. And you're going to bed. Now, go on. Go on. Go on. You watch what you're doing. I'll do it. Well, then go on. I'll do it. I swear that man's going to get the best of me yet. <sighs> Look at this. Thing. Look at that turn. Well, he's all yours. I'm much obliged. Becky's going to be expecting me. Well, I tell you what, I'll just walk you out to the gate. like a squirrel skin. Why, Daniel? Dog gun! Not an engine is gonna curl himself into some rock. He's just gonna wait for me to come along. You know that was trying to kill me? They could have done that from the window. Now, there's no question about it, Sam. The Cherokee are bound and determined to have you stand trial. I'm gonna tell you again, you stay put till I tell you different. You try slipping off and you're gonna find me harder than those Cherokee braves. No. Thanks, Daniel, for plucking them redskins out of me. Let's return the favor, Sam. Well, I uh, reckon that little old bad's gonna sleep just down here. Oh. 
That Hawking fella, the next drink he gets from me is gonna be turpentine. Isn't that what you always serve? Council demanding that Hawkins stand trial. But they're already sure he's guilty. That's right. You can't let that happen. No, Becky, I can't. I'll be back in a few days. Be gone just long enough to take Hawkins to Salem. But won't Ming on his braves try to stop you? He'll try, Becky. That tastes like you wrung out some moccasins in it. It's coffee uh, with my own recipe for a whiskey egg and head. Uh. What's the matter, Daniel? Something wrong? Sam, I got no choice left. I'm Cherokee. They brought you? They paid me a visit. Uh, that friend of yours, I bet he put him up to it. Mingo's only abiding by the will of the council. They insist that you be judged by Cherokee Council. If not, we're likely to have a war on our hands. But, Daniel, you... You can't turn him over to the Redskins. Every time an Indian's killed, they'll be yelling for a white man's blood. That's why I'm taking you to Salem for trial, Sam. Mingo can speak for his people there. A court of law? Jail? Maybe. Your trial comes up. Oh, Daniel, I... I lived wild too long to be caged. I like sleeping under the sky. Waking up with the sun in my face. Only... thing in this life I'm afraid of is four walls and a locked door. easy on you, Daniel. I've taken the decision right out of your hands. There's too much at stake for you just to walk away, sir. Well, like I said, I ain't the one to be caged. Daniel, I reckon I won't be needing this in sailing down. Sorry, Dan. Kentuck's getting too small for me. Bye, friend. I reckon you're gonna need convincing. I reckon I will. There's one thing I can't do, boil strong whiskey. <laughs> it's a good fight. <laughs> and I guess I found you one.
I wouldn't have missed this for all the hard whiskey and the soft women on New Orleans. Feet wet. Well, you're sure taking a roundabout way to lose that mingo. It may not be the shortest, but it's the safest. Hey, Daniel, you know, I've been thinking. Now, this engine friend of yours, now, he's got a real way with words. Now, supposing that judge in Salem believes him instead of me. I can outfight any engine, but he's handy with talking and most with a tomahawk. Well, nobody gets judged just on talk, only on proof. Now, you got nothing to worry about. The judge may seem jeers a little bit for trapping on Indian hunting grounds. Well, that kind of eases my mind, Daniel. Well, then, girl, at the end of a rope. that rock. Climb out on that log. Doggone, Dan, but we're going back to see where we come. Like you said, Sam, we're going to go the roundabout way. Back into the water on that log. Keep running me like this, there ain't gonna be enough left of me to hand over to that judge. Thank you. Oh. Uh, you sure must hold that half breed high. I do. Yeah, well, Cincinnati's told me they only wore moccasins on his mother's side. But just being part engine sours the whole barrel. But man, to feel as you do, you'd have to have good reason. I wasn't born hating. One night, I seen this fire light in the sky. Homestead. The time I got there, it was near burned out. Engines torched it. I drug out an old woman. So small. Why, you could hold her in the cup of your hand. Delicate like a hummingbird. Not enough breath in her to blow out a candle. From the signs, there was five of them. So I put the old woman in the ground and said a few words over her. And then I... I tracked them engines till I found them. She was my mother, Daniel. Sorry, Sam. But I've seen the other side, too. The only thing that makes engines different than wolves and snakes are two legs. They ain't people, Daniel, not like you and me. Now stop hating. The day I die. down. You've bought yourself some time, Daniel, but it remains to be seen whether it's enough.
What's the matter? Oh, this here leg of mine it keeps going bad on me from time to time. A couple of minutes would be fine. No, Daniel. That arrow could just as easily have gone into his heart. He's going back for a Cherokee trial. Daniel, these heathens are going to roast me like a slab of meat on a spit. Decision of the council, then. There's nothing either of us can do about it now. He was tried and found guilty by a Cherokee law. There's another Cherokee law, Mingo, that says the decision of the council can be tested by a trial of combat. Hawkins is wounded. I'm not. You can tell the council I'll meet any brave of their choice. You're a fool to risk your life, Daniel, for a cold-blooded killer. Neither of us knows that he's a killer, Mingo. What is being risked are the lives of many people, your people as well as mine. This could break the treaty. I'll speak to the council. The decision is theirs. Daniel, I sure hate to agree with an engine. But he's right. You're a fool. I have chosen a warrior to defend Cherokee honor. There's only one among the Cherokees who can defeat Daniel Boone. We have chosen Chief Mingo. The council honors me in its choice. I will defend the right of the Cherokee with all the skill and strength at my command. And with your life. It will be a fight to the death. You or Boone must die. hits the ground, we begin. By the time it burns out, one of us must be dead. Or we both die. Whichever one of us does live should do all in his power to see that the white man and the Cherokee continue to live in peace.
It's your play, Mingo. You best make it. Escape! from the other side, just in case he's planned an ambush. Sam, you fixing to take me back to them Cherokee? Back to Salem for trial. Sorry, Daniel. I was hoping you'd kill that silk-tongued half-breed. Warning us. Shawnee. Let's clear out of here before they spot us. Where to, General? Shawnee up ahead and Cherokee still aching to dance around my ashes. I figure I'll take my chances with the Shawnee with a rifle in my hands. I'm beholden to you, Daniel, for saving my hide from that Cherokee fire. It ain't a man's way to die. At least a half a dozen of them, Sam. You're gonna need help. Yeah. Yeah, Daniel, together we can make them turn tail and run like squeal his course. Fetch your rifle, Daniel. <sighs> Hold it, engine. He calls you his friend. If you are, I'd get him out of here. Mingo, I saved it again.
happy hunting. Obliged. He's going to be expecting me. Well, I tell you what, I'll just walk you out to the gate. like a squirrel skin. Why, Daniel? Dog, gun! Not an engine is gonna curl himself into some rock. He's just gonna wait for me to come along. You know that was trying to kill me? They could have done that from the window. And there's no question about it, Sam. The Cherokee are bound and determined to have you stand trial. I'm gonna tell you again, you stay put till I tell you different. You try slipping off and you're gonna find me harder than those Cherokee braves. Thanks, Daniel, for plucking them redskins out of me. Let's return the favor, Sam. Well, I uh, reckon that little old bad to sleep just in here. Oh. That Hawking fella, the next drink he gets from me is gonna be turpentine. Isn't that what you always serve? I couldn't help it over here. For 
Perhaps one must have Indian blood in his veins to recognize it. That's hardly evidence that stand up in the court of law. There's never enough evidence in a white man's court to convict a white man of killing an Indian. With the evidence we have, he'll get a fair trial under Cherokee law. Based only on the evidence. No. There's too much emotion here, Mingo. He could only get a fair trial someplace else. Daniel, there's a part of me that's been too long neglected. And that's the part that I must think with now. Think or feel? Hawkins could never stand a chance under Cherokee law. Well, what chance did White Cloud stand? Daniel, this is a crime against the Cherokee. You have no right to offer him your protection. Yeah, maybe not. But I won't refuse it. He saved my life. I just can't think a man like Hawkins could commit murder in cold blood. Think or feel? Explain to the new chief how I stand. You already have. While White Cloud's son is away, I am the chief. Taking quite a big load on your shoulders. I don't know what I'd do if I were in your place. I do. And I grabbed me a handful of them flailing redskins and I shook him while I sought him out until I found me a chief. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I tell you, that was just a funny thing. Well, well, Daniel, it's good to see you without your redskin brother. Look, Daniel, you come over here, because I got a drink for you, and I got enough talk to stuff both ears. Come on over here, Daniel, come on. <laughs> Sam. I don't like asking questions twice, but for my friend Mingo, I'm going to. Well, then, Daniel, you ask away, and I'll answer straight. Oh, Daniel. Now, look, I admit I killed my share of redskins. I admit it. But I don't have to shoot a bird in a snare. All right, Sam. I believe you. But I wouldn't bet on those Cherokees. And you best stay off her land. Her tail will run like Squealy's course. Fetch your rifle, Daniel. <sighs> Hold it, engine. He calls you his friend. If you are, I'd get him out of here. Mingo, he saved it again.
couldn't stop hating. got an old woman, so small, why well, you could hold her in the cup of your hand, delicate like a hummingbird, not enough breath in her to blow out a candle. From the signs, there was five of them. If I put the old woman in the ground and said a few words over her. Track them engines till I found them. She was my mother, Dano. I'm sorry, Sam. But I've seen the other side, too. The only thing that makes engines different than wolves and snakes are two legs. They ain't people, Dano, not like you and me. Stop hating. The day I die. down. You've bought yourself some time, Daniel, but it remains to be seen whether it's enough. Oh. What's the matter? Oh, this your leg of mine. It keeps going bad on me from time to time. A couple of minutes would be fine. easily have gone into his heart. He's going back for a Cherokee tribe. for all the hard whiskey and the soft women of New Orleans. Hold up, Sam. You're gonna get your feet wet. You're sure taking a roundabout way to lose that mingo. It may not be the shortest, but it's the safest. Hey, Daniel, you know, I've been thinking. Now, this injured friend of yours, now, he's got a real way with words. Now, supposing that judge in Salem believes him instead of me. 
I can outfight any engine, but he's handy with talking and most with a tomahawk. Well, nobody gets judged just on talk, only on proof. Now, you got nothing to worry about. Judge may seem jeers a little bit for trapping on Indian hunting grounds. Well, that kind of eases my mind down. Fred and Gurgle at the end of a rope. Around that rock. Climb out on that log. Doggone down of it! We're going back the same way we come. Like you said, Sam, we're going to go the roundabout way. Back into the water on that log. Dano, you keep running me like this, ain't going to be enough left of me to hand over to that judge. Thank you. must hold that half-breed high. I do. Yeah, well, Cincinnati's told me they only wore moccasins on his mother's side. But just being part engine sours the whole barrel. But man, to feel as you do, you'd have to have good reason. Daniel, these heathens are going to roast me like a slab of meat on a spit. decision of the council, then. There's nothing either of us can do about it now. He was tried and found guilty by a Cherokee law. There's another Cherokee law, Mingo, that says the decision of the council can be tested by a trial of combat. Hawkins is wounded. I'm not. You can tell the council I'll meet any brave of their choice. You're a fool to risk your life, Daniel, for a cold-blooded killer. Neither of us knows that he's a killer, Mingo. What is being risked are the lives of many people, your people as well as mine. This could break the treaty. I'll speak to the council. The decision is theirs. Daniel, I sure hate to agree with an engine. But he's right. You're a fool. I have chosen a warrior to defend Cherokee honor. There's only one among the Cherokees who can defeat Daniel Boone. We have chosen Chief Mingo. The council honors me in its choice. I will defend the right of the Cherokee with all the skill and strength at my command. And with your life. It will be a fight to the death. You or Boone must die. still are. Here, yeah, Daniel. It's yours. Well, I'm the one that ought to be giving you something. Well, Daniel, uh, 
I won't fight you if you stand me to a drink in the tavern. Well, I'll meet you there later. No skins after a drink. All right, sir. What'll it be? Friend, something with the kick of a mule, the bellow of a volcano, and the smell of buffalo hide. I think I got just the thing for you. Oh, well, set her down, set her down. <clears throat> there you go. Ooh. There ain't many men can handle more than one of them at a time. Well, you're looking at one. <laughs> Name of Sam Hawkins. Yeah, Cincinnati's here. Join me. <clears throat> Much obliged. Well, how's trapping these days, Jim? Don't get any on you. Oh. <laughs> as long as these boys staying around here with their mouths wide open, might as well pour something down. Come on, come on. Cincinnati, let's you and me have another. You uh, really want another one, huh? Sure do. The decision of the council can be tested by a trial of combat. Hawkins is wounded. I'm not. You can tell the council I'll meet any brave of their choice. You're a fool to risk your life, Daniel, for a cold-blooded killer. Neither of us knows that he's a killer, Mingo. What is being risked are the lives of many people, your people as well as mine. This could break the treaty. I'll speak to the council. The decision is theirs. Daniel, I sure hate to agree with an engine. But he's right. You're a fool. I have chosen a warrior to defend Cherokee honor. There's only one among the Cherokees who can defeat Daniel Boone. We have chosen Chief Mingo. The council honors me in its choice. I will defend the right of the Cherokee with all the skill and strength at my command. And with your life. It will be a fight to the death. You or Boone must die.
lance hits the ground, we begin. By the time it burns out, one of us must be dead. Or we both die. Whichever one of us does live, you do all the best. They offer land. Their land? Their land? But pretty soon they're going to be doing their hunting right here. They just might. For you. And my advice would be for you to stay put here in Boonesboro for a while. If you leave the stockade, you just might end up facing Mingo on his terms. Now, look here, Daniel. I ain't a man to live neath a roof or back of fences. And I ain't never curled my tail under for no man, and I ain't starting now. Besides, Daniel, they don't worry me none. Well, they worry me. Well, Daniel, for you, I'd dig a hole and I'd pull it in after me. I would. Now, come on. Drink up. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs> Now, you're going to put this right over here. Oh, don't. Wait. And you are going to get up them stairs right now. Right. And you're going to bed. Now, go on. Go on. Go on. Well, you know, watch what you're doing. Oh, God. I'll do it. Well, then go on. I'll do it. I swear that man's going to get the best of me yet. <sighs> Look at this. Thing. Look at that time. Well, he's all yours. I'm much obliged. Becky's going to be expecting me. Well, I tell you what, I'll just walk you out to the gate. Daniel Boone, Daniel Boone, what a doer, what a dream come true it was. 
From the coonskin cap on the top of old Dan to the heel of his rawhide shoe. The ripidest, roaringest, fightingest man the frontier ever knew. Oh, Daniel Boone was a man, just a big man, with an eye like an eagle and as tall as a mountain was he. Oh, Daniel Boone was a man, just a big man, and he fought for America to make all Americans free. Daniel Boone was a doer, what a dream come a truer was he. Daniel Boone, Daniel Boone. Man, to feel as you do, you'd have to have good reason. I wasn't born hating. One night, I seen this fire light in the sky. Homestead. The time I got there, it was near burned out. Engines torched it. I drug out an old woman. So small. Why, well, you could hold her in the cup of your hand. Delicate like a hummingbird. Not enough breath in her to blow out a candle. From the signs, there was five of them. So I put the old woman in the ground and said a few words over her. And then I... I tracked them engines till I found them. She was my mother, Dano. Sorry, Sam. But I've seen the other side, too. The only thing that makes engines different than wolves and snakes are two legs. They ain't people, Daniel. Not like you and me. Now stop hating. The day I die. down. You've bought yourself some time, Daniel, but it remains to be seen whether it's enough. What's the matter? Oh, this your leg of mine. It keeps going bad on me from time to time. A couple of minutes would be fine. easily have gone into his heart. He's going back for a Cherokee tribe. 